Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some MTGO. We are back into the popper game. Uh, we're playing our slivers. This actually was recorded uh, back a couple weeks ago before my computer... Well, right when my computer got started back up and right when I set everything back up, uh, I did this game. But the audio got very wonky. You could hear me, but everything was getting echoed and terrible on MTGO because... I don't know, MTGO just isn't a great program, so uh, so I had to scrap the, the video, so I figured I'd do a replay, because uh, it was some interesting games. We went up against Mono Black Aggro, or some people call it Black Super Aggro, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to run through it with you guys really quick. I figured it was worth it. So uh, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's see what our card draw was. All right, so there we go. Alright, so this is a decent starting hand. Uh, I should have kept this. Yep. Waiting on him. They go Swamp. I didn't know what we were up against. Straight away Dark Ritual. Uh, that is a cool looking card. I like that. They're going to draw a couple cards. Put down Night Market Lookout. Um, they're going to start eating away at me every time they uh, tap their creatures. So, it's a pretty cool deck. I did like it. We start off with our Virulent Sliver. Pass the turn. They're going to go put another Lookout out. And then they're going to do Tormented Soul. Can't be blocked and can't be blocked. Can't block and can't be blocked. Going to hit me for two here. back to me I go into planes play the metallic sliver we're gonna hold up vast uh, vines of the vast wood just in case basically was my line of thinking gonna start swinging in makes sense gonna take a few hits here drop to 13 from all the triggers it's not looking too great for us. Then they put in a uh, Dusk Hunter Bat. I'm not super familiar with this card, but it was enough for me to definitely get that top deck during to nowhere and take it out of the game. So that's what I play here. And I believe we're going to hold up Vines of the Vastwood again. Not without swinging in. Hit him for a few points. They'll keep dropping their swamps. We'll go down to uh, eight. Yep. We'll get hit for eight. So this thing uh, definitely is aggro. Uh, out comes Archer. Whenever it attacks, each opponent who doesn't control an elf loses one life. So another way to ping me for one extra whenever it attacks. Fine by me. I say let's go... Uh, Predatory Sliver. Is that what I play here? Yes, Predatory. We'll keep swinging in. It's not looking good for us, though. I mean, they've, they're have they going to have us dead here pretty fast. So I'm a bit worried at this point about uh, what I can do to win the game. We've got the Lead the Stampede to refill our hand, but basically we're going to want to Vines of Vastwood and get in for some extra damage if we survive. Taking a lot, though. Going to two. Ouch. At this point, it's all but over. At the beginning of Upkeep, tap Carnophage unless you pay one life. Really cool card artwork on that one. Wanted to make that the thumbnail, but I couldn't find any uh, high-quality artwork for it, unfortunately. So, I went with the Dark Ritual. We'll play it down. We'll swing in. He's going to block. We're going to kick. And we're going to hit him for a bunch of poisonous. But, uh... The game is all but over at this point, so that was the first game. Alright, so second game here. 
I have a little bit of an understanding of what we're going against. I'm not so uh, much worried about removal at this point, I believe. So I go ahead and I sideboard in Armadillo Cloak. Let's see, what did I bring out? I took out two Metallic Slivers. Uh, and we brought in, I believe, two Armadillo Cloaks for the two Metallic Slivers. Yeah, that's it. So we just brought in our Armadillo Cloaks for extra life gain since they're hitting us for so much each turn. Pass the turn. Here comes the Archer again. We're going to play the Plains into Predatory Sliver. Dark Ritual. And they're going to bring out Barrel Ghoul and Tormented Soul. So we've seen Tormented Soul. Uh, Barrel Ghoul is a new one. Not super worried about it yet at this point. Got to make sure I'm clicking this not too fast so I can explain what's going on. Sidewander is going to be huge here. We can play things pretty safely now and get some flanking going. And we're going to pass the turn. There's no uh, sense in attacking in quite yet. We're going to want to wait till next turn where we can drop Armadillo Cloak and make sure we can kill the Barrel Ghoul if he ever wants to block. But it's going to be very challenging for our opponent now since we've got uh, one flanking guy out. And we have another one on the way. But I believe we're going to play Armadillo Cloak next turn. So here comes Carnophage again. And he played uh, Dark Favor on his... His soul guy here. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, lose one life. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus one. So he buffs his creature a little bit. Uh, we can't block it. He can't block us. So it's a good investment. Uh, we choose to take. We choose to take this big hit because now we are in a good position to swing back for quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and play Armadillo Cloak. We're going to gain a bunch of life back. Swing in with everything. I'm not worried about taking damage on their turn since we're going to be gaining so much this time. And look at all those sexy triggers. Ooh, we got one for Armadillo Cloak. We got one for Virulence. And he goes ahead and just concedes the game right there and then. He doesn't want to see it. We're going to go to game three. Alrighty, so into game three. Uh, we both got one win on the board. It all comes down to this. We're going to go ahead and keep this hand. It's a decent hand. We got some removal. We got our uh, flankings, which will help us a bit in this uh, matchup. Archer goes out. We've got Gutshot. We'll start with our Blossoming Sands. We're turned behind. It's all right. Carnophage again. We'll start off with our... Uh, our lords and then at the right time we're gonna come in here and drop our flankings swinging in with both we'll take it for now I'm waiting to use the gut shot uh, on something else I believe uh, I don't know what I was waiting for with the gut shot I didn't think the archer was that big of a target to worry about at this point. So we go ahead and play our Blossoming Sands at this point right now. We're going to go ahead and just drop our another Lord. Just start beefing up our guys and swinging in for damage each turn just like they are. We're off to the races. So hitting him for three. He's going to have to pay a life. Dark Ritual, so we know some big things are coming. We've got uh, the Dathu Horror. That is a goofy looking card for sure. Can't be blocked by white creatures and has shadow. And then he's going to enchant, uh, enchant him. Alright, just going to ping me really quick. I'm just going to take. There's no sense in worrying about blocking that guy right now. We're going to gut shot the Deathu Horror. That was a better target for the gut shot. So I wasn't expecting to use that on the Horror, but uh, he brought him down, and I was like, yeah, 
it's a worthwhile thing to gut shot, so that's what we did. Alright. So now the plays begin. Everything's got vigilance. Everything's got flanking. We're gonna wait, uh, hold on to our journey to nowhere until we absolutely know there's no bigger threats coming down. Flanking's gonna come in place. We'll trade with the Dutch Death Touch on the Carnophage. Uh, but I'm perfectly fine with that. It gets him off the board, and we're stabilizing very nicely here. So now he brings out a new creature. Uh, whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you lose one life. It's a big 3-3 three, three for two. Pretty goofy looking. I like it, though. Passing the turn to us. He knows he's in trouble now. We got another flanking, which is excellent here. Now we just have double flanking on everything. Uh, and he won't be able to kill any of our stuff. So, at that point, when he saw the second flanking come down, he knew the game was over. He can't have any good blocks, and we're just going to start decimating his board one by one by one. He's only got one card in hand, so at that point, he just conceded. So, it was a very good game. We had the removal. We probably would have journeyed to nowhere, the, uh, the wretched boy over here, uh, if he had chosen to continue playing. And we would have just swung in and just absolutely crushed them. So it was a really fun game. Uh, and it was a good uh, new deck I haven't seen before. So I don't know how popular uh, Mono Black Aggro is in Popper. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see more Popper Slivers. Uh, I bring up MTGO every so often to try to maybe record a game. And, you know, it's, uh, it's not a lot of people playing it anymore. <laughs> I don't know if there's good times of day to like play popper or people get online to just play for just for fun I usually just do the just for fun things uh, I wouldn't mind doing a league, but honestly just don't really want to spend money on MTGO right now um, And usually you got to pay and whatnot so but if you know if uh, there's other tricks to maybe get in matches with people and whatnot to play some popper games Let me know any good times that would be good to try to jump on and play popper uh, maybe that I'm unaware of. Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more Popper Slivers, I'll try to get more out and find the games when I can. Because I do enjoy playing the Slivers deck. And uh, it's always fun to always fun to do. And hopefully my audio doesn't mess up uh, like it did on the last one. Because I prefer to do the commentary live over the game and not do replays. So, hope you guys enjoyed again. Leave a like and stay tuned. We'll be back again tomorrow in the next video. We'll see you then.